Maitri Palasirisena was accompanied by Navin Disanayaka at the media briefing held at the opposition leader's office. Minister Navin Disanayaka joined us to support the campaign of common opposition candidate Maitri Palasirisena. He came to Sirikota yesterday. We are especially gladdened that he has reaffirmed his ties with this party. Not only did Gamini Disanayaka establish the Mahaveli scheme, he also worked towards our victory in 77, 82 and 88. My late father Gamini Disanayaka and Lalit Atlat Mudali took political decisions when it was required. Now he has embarked on a similar political journey. When I first heard that he would come forward, I contacted him and gave him my word, saying, Minister Maithipala, I am with you. They tried to encourage me to stay after that. Two or three people came to meet me with large sums of money, but I rejected it because I gave him my word. I pray that I know now that his victory is certain. There is no international conspiracy here. Now in this Naika crossed over to the government with 17 people. We joined the government to end the war. Following the end of the war, when the president was abroad, it was he that was the defense minister. So, my friends, a person such as this will never act in line with international conspiracies. I can say this with certainty. Speaking further, Navin Disanayaka commented on fraud and corruption. I am personally aware that there are large-scale irregularities when it comes to aid given by China. The southern expressway from Mathala to Hambantota is 96 kilometers. The cost is $412 million. We know, and the RDA too is aware, that it should only cost $2 million per kilometer. Here, the cost is 14 to $16 million per kilometer. Who is responsible for this? As the highways minister, the president must tell this country how this went from $2 million to $16 million. Another highway, in the, another highway is the Colombo Wing Road. Funding for that too came from XLM Bank in China. Here is a kilometer costing 18 million dollars. Here a kilometer is costing 18 million dollars. A political crisis. What are they doing now? Instead of campaigning, they are catching the people who are leaving. There are three or four businessmen there who give money to stop the ministers and MPs from leaving. Unfortunately, I'm not that valuable. I was offered 100 million. It's not a huge amount. No, I have no price. I have no price because I, once I make a decision to uh, come out, uh, you can't buy me out. I mean, I could have asked for a higher amount, but what's the point? I mean, you can't sell your heart and your soul. We have the government, but uh, I can't tell you the names. It's not proper and ethical for me to do that. No, that's the thing. So when he becomes a president, he is going to appoint a commission. Right now, I don't think uh, it's appropriate for me to name them in public life. There was no place in the government for Navin's talent, knowledge and ability. I'm clearly aware of this. It was not people of this caliber that received resources and responsibilities in the government. As the son of one of the greatest visionary leaders in the country, the late Gamini Disanayaka, Navin Disanayaka today has taken a correct and important political decision. Journalists questioned the common candidate here as to whether he would give Ranil Vikramasinghe the position of Prime Minister within 24 hours if elected.